seems to me that when people think about Mexican rice, they think about these rice that we're gonna make. Arroz rojo or Mexican rice can be eaten with any meal of the day. It's great for lunch, it's great for dinner. Mexican rice is a rice that you use on the side of grilled meats and chicken and all sorts of dishes. We're gonna start with making that tomato base. So we have one pound of ripe tomatoes and I'm gonna quarter them. They are so ripe and ready, very soft and juicy. And then I have about a third of a cup of white onion that I just coarsely chopped. Two garlic cloves, a teaspoon of salt, about a half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, and I am going to puree this until completely smooth. I'm going to strain it, because you want a really thin sauce to cook the rice in. I learned to make my Mexican red rice in Texas. I moved to Dallas when I married my husband, and I was a terrible, horrible, horrible, dreadful cook. Like I really, I was a really phenomenal eater, but I didn't know how to cook much at all. Moved to Texas, I was so nostalgic for the foods of home, and I went to the Latin grocery store, which was close to home, and I just started talking to whoever I could, and there was this one Mexican woman, she was from Puebla, and she said, I'll teach you how to make rice. And we made like three batches of rice. Thank you to her because she taught me the secrets of making Mexican red rice. It is really frustrating to get rice right, but once you get your rice right, you always have it right. We don't wanna put this pulp to waste, so I'm putting it back in the blender. My friend from Dallas taught me this. And we're going to puree it again with a cup of chicken broth. Anytime you prepare chicken for any other recipes, I like to get the whole cut of chicken and then either I'll make a caldo de pollo or chicken broth. You can use that chicken broth for so many recipes and you can repurpose and repurpose, like for this rice, for soups, for stews. There are so many quarts of chicken broth frozen in my freezer. So we have the strained tomato, onion and garlic. I have my casserole here. I'm going to add about three tablespoons of oil. And I want it to be really nice and hot before I add my rice. Two cups of rice. I'm coating all of the grains of rice in the oil as I wait for the rice to change color from the pale beige white to the bright white. And then I'm also waiting to smell a little bit of a toasty smell, like when you're toasting bread. Extra long white rice is a traditional rice used to make Mexican rice or arroz rojo because the grains absorb the flavor of whatever broth it cooks in. As it cooks, the grains separate beautifully and fluff as well. So we're ready to add the sauce. Because we're going to make two cups of rice, we need four cups of liquid. So I'm adding the three cups of the tomato sauce. I am still missing one cup of liquid, but I'm gonna wait until my tomato sauce sizzles and cooks and thickens. And then I'm gonna add the remaining of the chicken broth and my vegetables. And this is the perfect moment for you to use any leftover vegetables that you have in your fridge. Shop your fridge. We're using diced vegetables, so they don't have to be the prettiest vegetables. I'm not only using the peeled and diced carrot, but I'm also saving the scraps from the carrots, the top and the end to make more chicken broth. You can see how the sauce was mostly absorbed and how it thickened and how it darkened in color. So now I need to add the remaining of my liquid, a cup of chicken broth. 
a half a cup of corn kernels. These are fresh, but you can use frozen. Frozen vegetables have a long shelf life and that helps you minimize waste because you can take out just the amount you need for whatever dish you may be making. A half a cup of peas. Two thirds of a cup of carrots. And I'm stirring this so it all gets nice and mixed. A couple sprigs of parsley, a couple of pickled jalapenos. I'm gonna cover my rice, reduce the heat to the lowest possible setting, and after 10 to 15 minutes, the rice will be ready. The rice should be ready. To know if your rice is ready, you need to make room in the middle and see if there's no more liquid, and you also have to Taste the rice and see if it's fully cooked. Mmm, mmm. It's just the arroz rojo. When you think of Mexican rice, this is it. 